An Israeli-American teenager managed to survive a siege on his home by Hamas militants over the weekend after his parents shielded him from gunfire with their bodies and died in the process. As the chaos ensued on Saturday, October 7, the Matias family huddled in a bomb shelter in their home to protect against rocket attacks. The father, Shlomi Matias, had his arms severed while trying to fend off the attackers as Debbie Matias directed her son, brought them to take cover. Tragically, the mother was fatally shot with a bullet passing through her and injuring Rotem. The 16-year-old Rotem played dead beneath his mother for nearly half an hour before finding refuge under a bed and later under a blanket in an adjacent laundry room. He managed to escape the attackers twice before being rescued by Israeli soldiers. The attack occurred after the family had gathered for a joyous evening with music as both of their parents were musicians. Shlomi Mathias was a music teacher and Debbie Mathias was a singer and songwriter. The family had returned to the kibbutz with plans to attend a Bruno Mars concert in Tel Aviv the following day.